the Battle Bass. It's had some big changes recently and it's now even easier than ever to complete. However, if you want to hop into Conan's single player mode with some admin commands, well, it gets a lot faster. Today I'm going to show you how to finish the Battle Pass in no less than 7 days, and I know because I've already done it. All the information here is accurate as of April 2024, if it changes in the future then I'll leave a pinned comment to update on it. Firstly though, there are three mechanics we need to know of for all of these methods. Firstly, the weekly challenges. These methods all assume that you've done one set of three weeklies. The weeklies give 2500 XP each, 7500 in total, which is equivalent to 7.5 levels in the battle pass. Each level is always 1000 XP, so anytime we talk of XP in the thousands in this video do keep that in mind. Secondly, the daily XP cap. Every day you can earn a maximum of 8000 XP. I haven't been able to work out when the XP cap resets, or if it's based on when you first earn XP, but it is indeed daily. The methods I'll show you today are all predicated on filling up that XP bar as fast as possible. These methods will all cap you out, and thus with 8000 XP per day, plus one loss of 7500 XP from the weekly challenges, it will take you 7 days in total to reach level 60 in the pass. Lastly, as a good rule of thumb, do not spawn enemies from the admin panel as they do not grant XP or challenge progress. Also, it seems the slow-mo command breaks something and prevents you from getting battle pass XP, so make sure you don't use that command or the admin feature I previously mentioned as you may miss out on XP. These methods are all intended for you to use with the single player admin mode. However, the first of them will work without it, but it will require some resource stockpiling if you're doing it in a normal server. There's options for everyone here, so let's begin with the AFK method. The AFK method is quite simple as we will simply be crafting. Aside from putting the resources in the bench and then pressing the craft button, you could walk away for a while, make a coffee, watch some of my other videos and then come back to a fully capped out XP bar for the day. The method itself, quite easy. We're going to be making dragon bone arrows. These are crafted in the carpenter's bench and the choice of these arrows is quite important. Some of the people have been crafting different arrows, but these are likely the best, as they give you 10 XP each and they craft in one second, much faster than the majority. Each unit costs 2 dragon bones and 5 feathers, granting 10 battle pass XP per craft. Fortunately, that makes the whole process quite easy to work out. We need to reach 8000 XP, so at 10 XP each we'd need to craft 800 units. That costs 1600 dragon bones and 4000 feathers. Of course, spawning all this in with the admin panel takes you maybe 60 seconds if that, or if you use my method of just spam clicking till the amount feels right, even shorter. So I tested this method on the basic carpenter's bench. Dragonbone arrows craft in one second for a single unit, and seeing as we'll need a total of 800 units to reach 8000 XP, that brings your total crafting time to 13 minutes and roughly 20 seconds. However, seeing as there's not enough inventory space to fit all the crafting supplies into one bench, you're better off splitting the work between three tables, which brings your total AFK time down to roughly 5 minutes, 300 seconds for the first two benches and 200 for the last. This is definitely the slowest method on the list, although it's not that slow really, but also it requires absolutely zero input after you hit craft. For the baseline speed, just over 5 minutes of AFK time to cap off your battle pass for the day is not bad. However, if you want us to be a bit more active and get things done quicker, well, that brings us to the next method. This one, quite simple, it's admin mode killing. This requires no mods or anything of the sort, you simply load in, hop into creative mode and fly around killing anything that moves. If you're on PC, or I think if you have a keyboard plugged into your console, this will be a lot faster. You can press Ctrl, Shift and Delete all at the same time to kill things in an area around your cursor. If you aim directly at the enemy, it won't count for the battle pass and it will not give you XP, but if you aim at the ground around them, they will die and it will count, so make sure not to make that mistake. If you can't use this shortcut, you will have to use a weapon, so I would suggest spawning in a good legendary and just quickly slashing things to death, though that will of course be a bit slower. The problem with this method is simply just finding a good route. Some people will of course want the optimal one. I'm not sure if the perfect route actually exists, but there are many options ahead. 
The simple one is between the Tower of Bats and the Summoning Place, or the plateau just south of it. You'll fly between the giant spider world boss and the albino bat demon and just kill them, though you can dip into the Summoning Place or the Corner of Bones to pick up some additional easy kills. The world bosses will give you about 100 XP each, and obviously any incidental enemies you kill will also add some XP. The enemies you kill near the summoning place will respawn by the time you return from the Tower of Bats, and vice versa. Another easier route is New Azagarth, where you'll take a wide berth around the city in the latter half of the route to let things respawn. For this one, I actually recommend turning off creative mode, flicking on god mode in the admin panel, but leaving cloak off. You can still have fly enabled, but you'll be able to easily aggro the enemies to you, so you can just area delete them. Then you'll want to fly out of New Azagarth towards Mammoth Rider's Shanty, kill the NPCs there, around to the northern side of New Azagarth, and then back into the city, and everything should have respawned. This method is just steady, decent XP. Again, I could go on for a long time, there are a ton of routes. Mounds of the Dead, Sep and Meru, Flotsam, Unnamed City, different people will undoubtedly prefer different approaches, but I would say a good amount of them are viable. With a solid path to follow, this tactic will get you capped a lot faster than the AFK method, but of course, it is a lot more active. However, if you want to cut down on your travel time, the next method might help. This tactic is a lot faster, but a touch more complicated. I'm pretty sure it does require you to be on PC. I think it should work if you're on console with a keyboard plugged in, although I have heard one or two people saying they couldn't get this to work on console, so I'm not too sure what's happening in that respect, but this is a much faster method. Find yourself a wide open space and hit the tilde key, or the key just below the enter button, to open up the console. You will then want to type in this exact command. Data cmd spawn 10 event underscore kurak fight underscore kurak underscore final. When you hit enter that will spawn 10 kuraks in front of you. I choose Kurak because he's got a pretty high battle pass XP per kill as he is a dungeon boss and also his model is quite small. It's quite literally as simple as that. If you wanted to speed it up more, the number 10 after spawn is a variable. You could set that to 2 and only 2 Kuraks would spawn, or 100 to get 100 of him. This command naturally spawns enemies in a grid in front of you, so larger numbers can get rather cumbersome and the enemies will roam away from you, so you might want to do what I suggested before and turn creative mode and cloak off, but keep god mode on to bunch them together, but even without that, they're honestly still easy pickings. Assuming Karak gives 100 XP in line with the other world bosses, then you've only got to kill 80 of him to cap for the day. You could very easily do that in maybe a few minutes, so this command really speeds things up. Again, spawning enemies through the admin panel UI doesn't work since the battle pass progression rework, but spawning them through the command line does, so this is a good way around that. However, if you are on PC, there is one more method that might be a little easier. If you have Pippi installed, you'll find the NPC spawner in the admin panel as an item for you to spawn in. There are actually two, the NPC summoner and the deprecated NPC spawner, I don't really know how the summoner works, but I suspect it's similar to this, however, I'd use the NPC spawner as it still works just fine. Pop it down on the ground and then press E to open the settings. There's a lot here, but what you want to do is quite simple. Set the NPC count to anywhere between 30 to 50, I'd recommend 30 just so you don't clutter things up too much. Set the spawn radius to anywhere between 500 and 1000, closer to 1000 is probably a bit better. For the NPC, I again choose Kurak, though you can use any NPC really. Kurak is probably the best choice though. And then finally, tick Enabled in the top left corner, click Apply, and the spawner will start to spawn Kurak. Then, you can literally just area delete at your feet and kill as many as you need. This is the method I've used for most of my battle pass, and it's taken me probably no more than a minute to cap out my 8k XP for the day. This is a very easy method. You don't have to fly around the map, wait around, or type out lengthy commands, you just punch a couple of settings into this spawner and you are good to go, finishing off your XP cap in mere moments. All of the methods I've shown you today are very viable, and most people will probably want to use a mix of different ones at different times. The AFK method is definitely the most viable to do outside of the single player admin rush setting, but all of these methods are honestly outstanding. Some people will be quite happy progressing the battle pass as they play and are in no great rush to finish it off, but for those who previously used the old rush method and now want to know the optimal way, well, now you know. These are the methods I've tried out and used to finish my own battle pass exactly 7 days after it launched, and with these tactics you guys can all get your battle pass rewards fast as possible and enjoy your new loot. 
Thank you for watching and of course a massive thanks to our wonderful esteemed coffee cultists for continuing to support the channel over on Patreon. I'll keep you guys updated if any of these methods change in the future. I don't see them changing but you never know for certain so I'll keep an eye on it and let you know if things do indeed change. Again thanks for watching, take care and I'll see you soon.